Hello, custom car enthusiasts, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So in this particular episode, we're just needing to do some basic work on some vehicles in order to get to the next level here. Uh, we need to get basically 800 points. So let's see, we're going to do some very basic ones to start out with here. Ooh, that one looks pretty nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this. We need to fix and find all gearbox problems. Uh, and we need to do the brakes. So we'll take that one. And then we'll see where we go from there. Nice looking car overall. Alright, let's move it to our lifter. Too many doorways now, getting turned around a little bit. Brakes are always sort of a simple thing to do, so let's go ahead and deal with those. Get those nice and uh, cleaned up or replaced, depending. Even the ones that look like they're still in good condition, we're going to just take them all off because might as well. There we go, that's taken off. Thinking we're gonna need a new gearbox here for him. So that's gonna be a dispense. Alright, that's taken off. Well, that was interesting. That was not what I wanted to do at all. Alright, now we got all the pieces on that one off. And as always, we'll take it all over to the repair bench and see what we can repair, and then we'll see what needs to be replaced. There we go. All right, now let's see what we need to replace still. So we're going to need a brake cylinder, two brake discs ventilated, and a brake drum. Alright, so let's just pull up brakes to begin with because we're going to need some of this stuff. Alright, so we need a cylinder, I believe I said. Two brake discs ventilated. A brake drum. Two new pads. So let's see here. That can go away. That can go away. As can that. And that. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to get another one there. I'm going to just replace that. Alright, so we need another brake drum and we need a brake shoe in the brake section. And then we're going to need gearbox stuff. So I'm pretty sure we're going to need everything in the gearbox, pretty much. Plate, pressure plate, bearing, flywheel, and then the gearbox itself, yeah. Alright, so let's go here. Clutch plate, the pressure plate, the release bearing, the flywheel, 
And then let's see, what do we need as far as the actual gearbox? Whoops, wrong area. Gearbox V8 OHV. There we go. All right, now we can start the reassembly. I know some of the parts were only partially worn, but if I can't fully repair them, then we're just going to replace them because I want to put, especially when it comes to things like brakes, I want to make sure that we're giving the guy some good quality brakes on his vehicle. Not going to worry about the tires, those or whatever. We're not doing a full rebuild of anything here, so just a simple brake job for him. And his expense is going to be high enough as it is between having to buy a brand new gearbox and all these other parts. I did save him some decent money though by uh, being able to save quite a few of the parts. There we go. Get that installed. Get to the back here and do the brakes on the back wheels. Perfect. Good to go. All right, so let's see what we got next. Uh, shocks on this car. Gearbox on this one. Let's get that one. Let's also get this one. We'll do two gearboxes at the same time. I wish I could just let the uh, drive shaft hang down for a little bit, but I guess they're just not allowed to. Not positive on that one, but yeah. Would be nice, just takes it out of my way then. 
instead of having to completely unbolt it, but that's all right. Seems like gearboxes are on the menu today. I think I might actually need the same gearbox for both of these. That would sort of be interesting. I think everything else I'm going to have to buy new, so... Let's see. We'll go ahead and, uh... Oh, we can fix up their starters and their drive shafts, so... We'll do that. Yep, two V8 gearboxes. All right. <laughs> so that works out. All right, so we're here in the gearboxes. Let's get two clutch release bearings. Two flywheels. Two pressure plates. And two clutch plates. And then we need two V8s. I wonder how long a gearbox change like this would take. Is it like a day thing per one? Or could you actually do two of them in a day like I'm doing here? I mean, since it's the same procedure on both, it almost seems like you should be able to do them one right after the other. All right, that guy's good to go. His was 12805. Wonder if this guy's price will be different because it's a different car. Whoa. What happened to the drive shaft? I wasn't able to fix one of the drive shafts? Oh, all right, well that's sort of an annoyance. Let's get rid of all this garbage first. So yeah, one of the cars is gonna have to pay for more because their drive shaft wasn't good. I think we'll be able to tell whose it was based on uh, how much I charge this guy. So if it is this guy, I do sort of wonder if he just didn't get stuck with the bill for the other guy. Twelve eight oh five. All right, so I charged him the exact same amount. Interesting. 
All right then, well, let's see. Oh, this one will definitely take. That's an easy job to get done. Just a muffler issue. Oh, and we got another one here. Another easy job to get done. Sad that a car like this is uh, looking in this shape. This one I sort of expect it from. Not to judge a book by its cover, but uh, yeah. One of these cars is a bit more of a luxury car than the other one. Okay, that was the one part on that one. Oh, come on. Let me have this piece of pipe. There we go. So annoying. Alright, none of this stuff is good, so I'm going to have to get all new. Here, so we need front manifold for an 14 SOHC. I'm just going to have to look for it, evidently. Maybe it was exhaust manifold. I might have been wrong on that. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we've got that one. These are a bit more complicated because I need to make sure I get the right pieces. So I need an exhaust pipe, a front exhaust section... Exhaust pipe, then front exhaust section for a 14 that would be it I believe there's that piece and that piece. So now I need a middle muffler and then a rear muffler for a V8. Alright. Rear muffler V8. I think it's this one. Hopefully. Yes, it was. Perfect. All right. Drop that card down. 
come over here. Replace that exhaust pipe. That one's good to go. It cost them all of $94 for that one. Very inexpensive fix. This guy's is going to be much more expensive, even though his car is not nearly the quality level of the other one. $351. Alright. See about one more vehicle here. Yeah, this one should do it. We'll get that one. So we need to do brakes and shocks. It's the last ride. All right. Oh, it's actually supposed to be a funeral hearse, I think. Or it's at least used in funerals. Wow, they really should take better care of it then. That was not where I wanted to click. Same as with the other one, we're gonna uh, spruce up all the parts underneath here. Even if they don't need to be replaced, we can repair them. Especially with the fact that this is supposed to be used in funerals and stuff, I want to make sure, even though the car does not look good, that it uh, drives well for it. Now, it could be somebody that's just a little bit of a fan of death and stuff, that has their vehicle labeled like this. But I'm going to go under the premise that this was used in funerals. And if that's the case, then yeah. It should be good for the people. I'm not going to worry about sprucing up the hubcaps because of the fact that, yeah, the rest of the car looks like garbage themselves, so not like that's going to change too much. that out. Then we're going to need to separate these, even though it looks like they're just going to need to be entirely thrown away. Let's see what we can fix. We're going to have a bit of a laundry list of items here we need to buy. So we need two brake calipers, two, uh, yeah, two brake disventilated because 
even though this one's there, I'm going to replace it. Two brake drums, two brake shoes, two brake pads. So the only thing we can keep is the brake cylinders, and we don't need the normal brake disc. We just need brake disc ventilated. All right, so let's go to brakes. Oh, I should have in this one. You know what? Let's see here. Yep, we have a part that's still not discovered. That is unfortunate. We're going to have to take it down further. This is a lot more work than I had expected or intended. I have a feeling it's going to probably be some of the rubber bushings. So we will just get this whole thing off. See if we're going to have to take off the back end or not. There's one of the pieces, was right there. But if we're taking it down this far, let's take it all the way down. Now do we have everything? Yeah, we have everything labeled there. Everything there. Everything there. All right. Let's repair the other stuff that we can. So we're still dealing with the brakes first. I was just wondering if I had to worry about these, but I don't. So, all right. We'll get two of those. Two of these. Two of these. Those. Not sure about the drum wheel cylinders, so let's see here. Get rid of all the scrap, which will clean up what we've got. Probably got three of those, so I'll just get rid of one. It's all right. All right, so we need shock absorbers now. Front shock absorber A, front absorber cap. All right, so we need two of those. Two of these. Springs. Front sway var could be replaced, might as well. Then we need one inner tie rod and two outer tie rods. So we need the leaf springs, plates, and U-bolts, and then rear shock absorber B. Rear shock absorber B. And 
then leaf spring. Need four of those. And two of those. Alright, so we got these rubber bushings here, so one, two, and then that's six, so eight. So eight rubber bushings and four small rubber bushings. Eight of those and four of these. All right, so we need a steering rack and a sway bar front end links. This person is racking up the bills here. What I thought was going to be is, oh, I got the wrong ones. I got B's, I should have got A's. Oh, well. Yes, I lose a little bit of money, but I'd rather have the lack of clutter around the shop. And it's not like money is an issue for me. I mean, I'm well up there in money. All right, I need two of these, and I believe two of the caps as well. All right, so we got everything. Let's rebuild this vehicle. Wasn't really the piece I was expecting to get there, but that's all right. on. The inner tie rod and the outer tie rod. Let's get, oh, that's right, we need to assemble these. Well, that's working away. Let's go ahead and put on a few more parts. Inner tie rod. That one.
Alright, that side's good to go. Let me grab this. Right. So much work and not really a major change to the car other than the way it handles and it breaks. It's almost disheartening in a way. But it is the way it is. And it is a good job for us. It will get us, I believe, to the point where we will uh, be ready next episode for the next story mission. Which is the point. That's all good, that's good, that's good, and that's good. Perfect. So we have reached the next level. Did I have some stuff left over here? Yeah, I had this rubber bushing to get rid of. There we go. Alright, so in the next level, what's the story mission car going to be? It's going to be a chieftain. Very nice. Some nice looking cars there as well. Let's go over here. And there's nothing we can really do with our points right now because we got to wait for level 35. We already know when we get here, I'm going to repair body parts. That is the top priority. Then we'll worry about things like moving faster and such. But yeah, we'll save up our points so that way we'll be able to do it once we get there. For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel click the bell icon so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all back for more of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.